The general consensus amongst most Micro Four Thirds users is that Panasonic shoots better video than Olympus. Now, in most cases, this is true. Currently, I'm recording on the Panasonic GX8, and it does 4K video. But recently, I saw something that made me think, is it worth shooting video occasionally on the Olympuses? Today, we're going to do a few tests and see if it's true. The Olympus cameras, even though they only shoot 1080p and not as many frame rate options, can do image stabilization in camera, both digital and sensor shift. So the question is, if I'm moving and I don't have a camera rig, uh, is it more stable with the Olympus? I've currently got the Panasonic GX8. It has in-body stabilization, but can't use it on video. Now, I'm just walking, obviously, with the camera in my hand. Now, not everybody has access to crazy video rigs or somebody to carry the camera whilst they're using it. So I'm trying to, again, demonstrate a normal vlogging situation. Now, since it's got image stabilization as well, this is my Samsung S7 Edge with video stabilization on, yet again, walking forward, trying to use it in a normal vlogger sort of situation with the mic attached that I was using before. So we'll see how that turns out. So this is the Panasonic GX8 doing a handheld video pan. Okay, this is a camera pan test with the Olympus AM1. Radio. This is the S7 Edge doing a pan test. So now we're doing a walking forward test with the S7 Edge. This is a walking forwards test with the Olympus M1. This is a walking forward test with the Panasonic GX8. That's a camera facing forward test, a camera facing back test, and a panning test across the three different devices. Now, my conclusion would be that the Panasonics are best when on a tripod and or you've got somebody to operate some sort of steady cam rig. The Olympus is actually really good just on its own, no fancy rigs to smooth out the stabilization. Both of these tests were shot with the Panasonic 14mm f2.8 lens, so there's no image stabilization happening in lens. Uh, I found that the phone's stabilization when moving forward, or maybe it was the sensor read, looked a little bit wobbly. And the other thing I noticed was that the Olympus involved single point autofocus. The autofocus towards the end of the walking forwards, pointing forwards video went uh, a little bit funny. So as a conclusion, if you have access, already have an Olympus camera and you can't afford or don't have a steady cam, then the Olympus cameras are a great option for a second camera or even a main camera to shoot on, especially when you're moving the camera. That's it for this episode of Jeff's Photo Tips. Uh, if you got something out of it, please give me a like, hit subscribe to keep updated, and until next time, Jeffrey out. My other conclusion, my other conclusion is that I've never seen this much traffic on a quiet country road. Apparently if you want lots of traffic to come by, shoot a video outside. <laughs>